Greetings guys, this is Stokraft, and today I'm showing you a replay of the T-54, the tier 9 Russian medium tank. And in this video I'm going to cover my favorite spot on this map, Runeberg Assault, at least when I am assaulting. You can see me go immediately towards this tank barrier here and just gonna plow right over it. It doesn't go quite as planned, but hey, I make it. And we arrive at my favorite spot, and that favorite spot is here. Next to this little bunker here. And immediately at the start of the game you get some very nice shots and a very juicy leopard. As we know, the leopard, the tier 10 German medium tank, doesn't have any armor whatsoever. So, I can afford to take some good shots into that guy. No idea why that guy chose to take that position right there. But by all means, I'll take full advantage of that. And the leopard is down. So, now to break down again... This is my favorite spot. What do I usually do when I am next to this bunker? Uh, and you will see me do that in a few seconds. I'm going to push down this tree. As we can see right here. Why did I push down this tree? If you look from the front. From this bunker. You can see that this tree has fallen down. Precisely next to the bunker. So when I peek around the bunker. I've got uh, concealment. Because the trees and the, the leaves of the fallen tree. Counts as bushes as well. So when I push down a tree. And I peek like this. I've got myself concealed. Yeah, of course, when I fire, I have to pull back quickly. Because that means that I get spotted. As you can see. But if you use that well. Then, this position can be really, really strong. As you can see, that E-75 managed to spot me there. I tried to put a shot into his hull. But of course, it did not go well. As you can see... To use this position you do need to have good awareness because as you can see the T-10 was peeking out to take a shot at me. The E-75 peeked out to take a shot at me. You have to have good awareness. And you have to keep looking at your map at all times. Especially looking at these, uh, this zone here. To, look if, to see if there's any enemy tanks peeking out to try and take a shot at you. That is really important when you take this position. But if you do it right then this position will be one of the best uh, ever and that's why this is probably my favorite spot uh, on any map in world of tanks so as we can see my platoon mates um, are getting yeah attacked by, uh, by an st1 i hope they can handle him i put a shot into his side armor there but it doesn't look very good at all as we can see but i think i can't leave this flank alone as either so, because I've got my own tanks to, to deal with, as we can see. You can see a Waffentrager Panzer IV. Immediately, I load an HE shell. Because I know that I will most likely get another shot at him. I'll just take the shot from the E-75. That's fine. But as you can see, I didn't aim my HE shell quite right. And that means that the HE shell goes right into the hull and doesn't penetrate. And only does minor damage to the Waffentrager Panzer IV. As we can see, 50 bees peeking out. Which is nice, of course. He uh, manages to bounce a shot off my turret. Because as we all know the T-54 has got really strong turret armor. Nice. We put a shot into that guy. And now the 50B is probably reloading and he is retreating. Can we put a shot into the ST-1 as well? Perhaps. That would be nice. Nice. Unfortunately he's taken the soul of one of my platoon mates. I'll, um, I'll revenge you mate. I'll try my best. And now as we can see, the SD-1 takes down my other platoon mate as well. And that SD-1 doesn't know what he has just done. <laughs> that made me really angry indeed. But as we can see, my team has prowled through this flank here. Because the Centurion is already on the other side of this flank. So that gives me the indication that this flank is clear. And that I have got the time now to go after the SD-1. As we can see, he's occupied in shooting the T-10. I'm gonna fire a shot on the side armor. Did that shot just hit the gun of my own T-10 there? You've got to be kidding me. And of course, he decides to shoot me and not the T-10. But oh well, I've, I've got to take some damage as well, I guess. So I'm reloaded again. I'm gonna put a shot right through here. Of course, I've loaded some heat shells for this. Because as we know, the T-54 doesn't have the best standard penetration. But when you dab your 2-key... That penetration goes up to 330. So, yeah, that probably will be enough to penetrate the ST1. And as we can see, we take him down. So, we've lost half of our health already. Got to be careful with this. And you can see, 
that there's an E100 here. And a Yak Panzer E100. Of course, I want to try and track that guy. So let's see what we can do. But um, I can't peek now because he's having. Uh, yes, he, he's aiming in the shot. But immediately as he has fired, I'll track him in place. And as we can see, he probably doesn't have a repair kit anymore. So I aim another shot right through his drive wheel. And oh my god, we penetrate and we set him on fire. That poor guy. That guy is not having a good game whatsoever. He was one of the best players on the enemy team as we could see. So he pretty much got wrecked by me. Pretty lucky that I uh, set him on fire. But hey, sometimes you need to have a little bit of luck in this game, right? So I spot the E100. I peek. He spots me. I uh, go out of the way and I try to put a shot onto his lower plate. Of course that doesn't penetrate because I'm shooting down at his lower plate. Can we take down this VK? Yes we can. And as we can see this game is already looking like a very good one indeed. So just uh, peeking here to see if he can spot the T10. Not sure where he's going to peek out. My best guess is that he's going to peek out from one of these corners of course. So I'm just keeping an eye out on the map and keeping aiming in the spot where I think that the enemy tank is going to peek out. I have to be careful because as we can see, there's still Object 140 on the enemy team. Who's a very, 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 very good player. So I have to be careful for him. Luckily he's been last been spotted on the other side of the map. But it's been a while since he has been spotted. So keep that in mind later. T10. I tried to, yeah, I couldn't really put a shot into him as he... Was just peeking out at the moment that I had fired. So now I see that the T10 goes towards the middle of that yeah, passage right there. No idea where he's going to peek out now. My best guess is going to be near the Yak Panzer 100 But then I think no. Maybe that's too obvious. I think he might come around this corner. So I decide hey, if he's going to come around this corner. I can probably not penetrate him with my standard rounds. So at one moment I decide to reload to... Heat rounds. As I see the SD of the SD1, the T10 right there. So I reload. But exactly as I do that, he peeks around the corner. So that's not a good engagement for me. Because this tank doesn't have the most gun depression ever. I can't really Yeah. Do that much damage to that guy when he side scrapes that well. But then I put a shot onto his side. And then I look at my map and look at what tank is behind me, everyone. Look at this, the Object 140, the Unicum player on the enemy team. So, I've got heat loaded, this is no shame, in my opinion, I'm just gonna shoot him. He, as I set him on fire and the automatic fire extinguisher takes him down, and oh my god, I did I get rammed by the freaking E100. But, the Object 140 gets set on fire again, and I managed to take him down. That's just ridiculous, two shots in a row, setting them on fire. I've set the two best players in this game. On fire. That is just ridiculous, everyone. Jesus Christ. I did not expect this to happen. 6.6k damage that we have seen in this battle. That is just ridiculous, everyone. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that battle. Jesus Christ, what an action back to game. In this game I did 6.6k damage, one of the highest damage games I have had in a while. I played this game yesterday as the second game of the day, but my first game in the T54 of the day. And as there was times 5 experience, I got times 5 experience. Look at this, 12,231 experience in one battle. There's no doubt that I had a little bit of luck in this game, but hey, everyone has a little bit of luck in their good games. Besides the, I hope, very enjoyable replay, I hope you guys learned a lot from my favorite position in World of Tanks. And I hope to see that position getting used more often by as many of you as possible. So that about covers it all. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. There's a lot of time and effort put into it as usual, so please leave a like. Also, please consider subscribing if you like this video and if you are interested in watching more of my content. I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Have a very great holiday season. And I'll see you next time.